Hey guys, alright, so today I'm going to basically be showing you how to make a website with, you guessed it, Tumblr. Now, I'm going to start mine up by just uh, making a new blog, but otherwise just sign up for an account. So, I'll just call this test. Um, probably. Find a domain that's not taken. Alright, so then this can really be whatever you want for this purpose, but yeah, if you're happy for it to be like that, that's good. Um, you can also set a password protect so only people who you give the password can access your blog. Okay, great. So now we have our test. So we can go to our blog to see how it's looking. And this is basically what it looks like with nothing. Alright, so we're going to change this pretty quickly. First up, we're going to fix this thing. This is our domain. This is what um, our users will type in to navigate to our website. So we're going to go to this website, dot, dot, tk. Um, Now that's probably not much shorter, but for the purposes of this video, that's the one we're going to use. Now you can just select whatever domain you want, and it will just shorten it to .tk. So basically, we want this to forward to our QWERTY B123 or whatever that is. And we're just going to copy that and put it there. So, yeah, you can register that for up to 12 months. I'm just going to do one just because, yeah, I'm pretty much just going to take the state down afterwards. So, you just write in the security code and sign up. So, while that's loading, we can go into our Tumblr here and we're going to go to tumblr.com forward slash themes. Alright. Okay. It's working now. Great. So that's basically telling us that that is our new link. So when users type in my test website for YouTube.tk, they will be navigated to this test page. That's pretty much what that will do. Alright, so next we're going to select a theme. So there are a bunch of uh, free themes, premium themes, or if you're a little bit tech savvy and want to um, have a more customable kind of experience with this, you can, of course, um, edit your own theme in HTML and CSS. Alright, so we're going to use a free theme for this purpose, but you can use uh, the premium themes, they're pretty cheap. Okay, so we're going to want to get one that looks good for a website, because after all, we might not want this to be a blog, we want, might want this to be like a business website, for example, so that's how we'll go about this. So, we'll have a look for one. This one looks like quite good for if you had a business or that looks better. Looks like we've got our fair navigation and everything like that in there. Let's have a preview of that. Yeah, see so we've got all our pages here and yeah. Okay, so that's a good one to use for this purpose. So if we say install, and there you go. So this is our new website, pretty much. Great. So 
So, let me go to test and refresh this. We have our new theme. So, now we have to like, upload our content. So, well, if we go back to our dashboard. Okay, so we're up able to upload text, photos, quotes, links, chat, audio, and video to our site. Let's make some menus first. So, if you go into your settings tab, we'll be able to see our theme and other bunch of other settings that we can change as well. But basically, go into this theme tab and click customize. Okay, so basically, from this uh, customize page, we can edit a whole bunch of settings like colors and um, our title. So I've just changed my title here to YouTube and um, just a test for my description. So basically, we're going to add a page right now. So we can do this by clicking the Add Page button, and that will open this pop up. And we can have a bunch of different types, so we can have standard layouts, re uh, custom layouts, and a redirect. So we're going to hit redirect, and we're going to make this link YouTube. We're going to redirect it to my channel page, and we're going to want to show a link. So click create page. and save page. Great. Now, when we go into our test and refresh that, we should be able to see a page. There you go. So right there, that takes, takes us to my channel. Great. So once that's looking good, we can go through. You can edit HTML in here. So if you do have some uh, language knowledge, you can do that. You can use optimized uh, mobile layouts. Probably don't show a follow. Add custom CSS in here if you know what you're doing. Uh, and yeah, probably leave those two as is. I'd recommend leaving the mobile layout on. So now we're back at our main Tumblr page, we can add something like text, for instance. We can have this as a welcome message, maybe. So... There you go. So, when we view this, we have our little welcome message, and this is how you edit pretty much all your content. So, yeah, you can search for stuff in your, well, blog, website kind of thing, but as you can see, there's so much you can do with this and yeah so I think that is pretty much it for designing a website in Tumblr it is that easy um, if you want to take it further definitely use HTML and uh, CSS or buy a premium template to get more of the feel that you want for your website so yeah guys that's the finished product um, if you have any questions or comments please um, ask me in the comment section below I'll be happy to answer them to my the best of my ability. Uh, rate, comment, subscribe. Oh, rate, thumbs up, same thing. Um, yeah, have a great day.